It's Tour Trunk Tuesday, we're here at the beautiful Aviara Golf Club and I've picked this place for good reason. There's a lot of elevation changes, the greens can be tricky to hit in the right places. Should you be getting a golf ball fitting? What type of golf ball should you be going for? Be sure to subscribe, let's get into it. So the first place that you're gonna come when it comes to fitting or testing a golf ball and taking that consideration yourself, taking the ownership, you know that I'm a big one for that, is here. It actually is 76 yards. It doesn't look it, that's to flag. We're downhill, you can factor all this in. This is not a pitching video, there will be others within the channel. Four models of golf ball from TaylorMade, starting at the Speed Soft, then the Tour Response, TP5 and TP5X. Right to left, as I look at them, is going to be feel. So the Speed Soft comes in different colours. You can get it in white, you can get it in the yellow, or of course TaylorMade have gone in and given you, which looks so good, this ink colour, as they call it. This one's in the pink, it comes in various options. It's a golf ball that's going to give you your personality. But actual performance, performance, price point comes in around 25 bucks. It's quite a bit cheaper than the other golf balls. Why is that so much cheaper? I'll just buy that one. Maybe, but it depends where your golf game is. So this one actually has an Ionomer cover. So the feel's going to be quite good off Ionomer, but the other three models are into urethane. That then bumps the price up, but it also changes the feel. I've got this mill grind four wedge here. It's a raw wedge. There's no chrome on it. So the feel off the face, there's nothing between me and the golf ball. So if you want great feel, you'll get it from this, but these ones are gonna give you more response, hence tour response name. This speed soft golf ball is gonna be a two piece golf ball. It's gonna be cover and core. When you get into the core, it's a sub 50 compression. Trotty, what are you doing? You're losing me, what does that mean? It means it's super soft when you hit it, but it's at the legal limit for speed when it comes to that compression. So you're not gonna to lose too much distance. Back to our testing, and I'll be dropping more onions about fitting as we get on. Certainly as we move to the tee, you take a golf golf shot like this, yeah, the ball's going to come out okay, it's going to feel soft, but you're not going to have the control effectively you're going to get from the other golf balls. And you'll feel it if you buy a sleeve of each one, the TP5, TP5X, should you watch to the end, you're going to know which one you should look for. But when you're hitting this golf ball, it'll come out great, it'll sound great, but the spin might not be where you want it. So a 75 yard pitch down here. Firm first bounce and then grabbed for me. Controlled the height quite well, but if I'm being honest with you as a player, I really had to fight to keep that one down. Now that's a cracking result. I'm gonna jump the tour response for now, which will be the middle. If I get straight into the TP5, which is a five piece golf ball, so there's a lot more tech going on here, you will really see the difference now between the two models. And this would be where if you're looking to test TP5 or TP5X, here and closer is where you're gonna see real benefit. The Tour Response is a three-piece ball, but if you get into this premium TP5 now, played by some of the best players in the world, this golf ball now is gonna come into its own and you'll really feel the difference as you jump between the two models. So that's a really firm green hitting downhill, but I have control over that ball and you can hear that off the blade. So let's get closer to the green and let's talk about tour response and speed soft when it comes to these two golf balls. Remember, three piece golf ball, so that urethane cover, which now is gonna identify itself around this area and then you have speed soft. To make the choice as to which one you wanna go for, you're gonna see a big difference when it comes to feel. One will be a bit more clicky, one might be a bit softer. But at the end of the day, the player who's using this, you could be facing a shot like this and be massively intimidated. Your game and your goal might just be literally to get this on the green, which is okay. That's where you're at today. And this golf ball, maybe that feel, feel of wanting to flip the golf ball up here and get a soft touch around the greens and a spin that you can control, perhaps isn't at the forefront of your mind. However, with that, and you can tell from this golf shot, you can still play the soft golf shots with it and it will have an extremely soft feel when it comes to the speed soft. 
So you can see it still gets the height and it still stops relatively quickly. A big difference will be when you pull in the tour response. This is where if you really want to whip across the golf ball and try and spin one, you should be able to get a bit more grab out of this golf ball. And you can see now with the tour response strike, that thing is ripping. And we'll come to putting and what that adds you and the visual training elements of the cover of the golf ball. But really now, and I think that was a good example of it on a short-sided shot like this, with the speed soft, I can't quite generate the same amount of spin as I can off that urethane cover. And if you turned your audio up and you could hear it, the interaction between the blade is great on that urethane. That's why you're paying more for that golf ball and you're getting a premium feel around the greens, which is hard to translate across a video, but at the end of the day, it's important when it comes to fitting. If you're a player that wants to connect with that and understand that, this is important to you. For the purpose of the video, I've brought you here now to a tee shot down at number 15 Aviara, and it is a beautiful tee shot down the hill. I've got my launch monitor out. Now I say for the purpose of the video, because if this was truly testing golf balls in the correct way, you'd go pitch shot green, and you'd spend a lot of time around the green, working on different chips, getting used to the feel. Then you would move to a mid iron. And in these two golf balls that we're looking at right now, in the speed soft and the tour response, Again, as you put more speed into the swing, you're going to notice a difference in that cover and the feel. Now, these golf balls are great, if I'm referring to the speed soft, when it comes to a slightly slower swing. Look at the design on it. Yeah, the kids are gonna love these golf balls. Any juniors that are out there or people who wanna add personality to their game, that is the perfect way to do it, especially with the ink product. But with the slower speed, you're gonna get a higher spin rate out of it. What does that mean? Why an elevated tee shot? Because if I hit this down there with a little bit less spin, it's not gonna carry as far. Spin is crucial. I might lose some of you when it comes to this, but setting up the driver can be done in any way, shape or form for any of the four golf balls that we've brought out today based on the loft sleeve, based on where you place the weight, based on how much weight you put where. That's why you need to get a fitting for this club to marry into the golf ball. But for a tee shot like this, spin is crucial for speed. So if I just put one out there and I reduce the spin now and I try and swing at 70%, so set up, not an absolute rip for me. That one was actually a little drawy down the left side, but you can notice it really stayed in the air. Now a golf shot like that would normally peel a little bit more to the left than that and dive out the sky but because the spin on that ball, it stays in the air. If I then bowl in with the tour response, now I can use the stripe. For me, I might want to hit a slight draw down here. I can aim that down the right, but with this being a three-piece golf ball, I don't have to worry now about speed. This one, you can get a little bit more control out of the spin rate off of your driver if needs be, but you can also set yourself up with that alignment tool and this one won't overspin too much for me if I give it the full hit. It's such a workable golf ball, this. Every time I try the tour response, I really get sucked into liking it more and more. And that was hit a little low in the blade and it had 3000 spin on it as a result. But its feel when it comes off the blade is exactly like the other two golf balls I wanna get into now. Let's go move to an elevated shot because there's some key pieces about TP5 and TP5X you have to understand. But I feel like that puts a bow on these entry point for sure with the speed soft ink. And then as you get into the tour response, if your game is developing and you're playing a little more and getting more serious about it, you're really gonna feel the benefits of that urethane cover. But let's hop into the other two. So let's get into the premium level of golf ball, the TP5X and the TP5. This golf ball's been around now for quite some time, working through the tour with different players, early people that went on board with it, Sergio Garcia, Retief Goosen, even Ernie Els early on was in the tailor-made golf ball. But it's come so far. It's a five-piece golf ball. So for players who have 165 plus ball speed off the tee, club speed wide, 110, 115, and upwards with driver, this golf ball's where you've got to look. As you get into the X, it is without doubt the longer of the two, and you can feel that. But that does come with some trade-offs if you go for that additional length. You need to be, from this yardage, 
quite a high spin player and the X will keep the spin down. As you get into the five, it adds spin. It's important for a golf shot like this, which is only playing slightly down breeze, but 117 to the flag. Now, why is the down breeze important? Shots like this at this yardage, down breeze off the left, uphill, are going to get knocked out the sky with spin. You've heard players talk about that. You've heard tour players talk about that. If you take the five for this golf shot, even though, as I've just told you, if you're going driver for driver, it's not quite as quick off the blade. And we're talking like a mile an hour. But now, control-wise, all of a sudden I have a ball that's going to spin a little more with my irons, which will keep it in the air. So if you've got this almost exact shot hitting to an elevated green, down breeze, so the club, the ball wants to be knocked out the sky, but it's going to stay in the sky now with the spin. Alternatively, if you're fully, firmly in my camp and you're a high, high spin guy, now you can get away with the X and you can make it work. But some tour players have been known to change from venue to venue, even based on certain par threes they might be playing, where they have that PUDI or they have that 770 long iron that they put in that spins a little differently, or the proto iron that you've seen Rory playing. If they hit that shot, Sometimes they just want to dial in the spin with that particular club on a given week and they're known to switch between the two models of golf ball. But you do have to make an adjustment when you get around the greens, which we're going to go to. But remember, this golf shot here, I'll hit one with the TP5 and one with the X and you're going to see a different control when it comes to ball flight and the way they react on the greens. So that's the five and you can see it hold its head, carry the trap easily into the middle of the green. Now for me, maybe not the best candidate to go with the X, but that sounds so soft and so beautiful off the blade. When I get into the X, it's not going to spin quite as much, but for me, I'll get a little bit more control out of this, slightly harder feel. Pretty similar line, so it'll give us a good look when we get to the pitch marks easily made to carry, big first bounce, and then it'll grab because we're hitting uphill. But keep in mind everything I've said about the breeze and the elevation changes. Now let's take a look at around the greens. So this is interesting, and this is where you have to look at your choices between the two golf balls. So they came off on a similar flight. I told you we were uphill, we were down breeze. Gone a little deep, but the safe golf shot. The X has landed here on an upslope, and then I've got one, two, three good places, paces until that's grabbed. As I come over to this one, this is where the five has landed, down breeze, minus one, minus two. That's with the spin. So you're gonna see a significant difference when it comes to controlling your TP5X versus your TP5. Yes, you'll see a difference with how far they fly down breeze, into breeze, certainly with those long irons that I told you about and that proto that Rory's got in, but you really should keep an eye on this. Truth is, if you get the wrong ball here, yeah, I'm gonna talk a lot in my fitting of golf ball videos about get around the green, hit the little cutesy ones, play the runner, draw it up there, fade it up there. We all think we're Tiger Woods around the greens, I get it. But if you get in the wrong ball here off the tee, or you definitely get the wrong one of these, you're giving up not just a little bit of yardage, you're giving up mountains of yardage, which on a golf course like this, plays 7,000 plus off the back tees, and it's gonna put you in spots that are gonna make you uncomfortable. You will be revealed as a player, and then you'll be left struggling and losing cash to your mates. So it's crucial that you're honest with yourself when it comes to golf ball selection. There is no issue with being in the speed soft, it's that's where you live, just like there's no issue progressing through the levels of golf ball that are right for your development as a player. Pretty good shot hit down there. So as I look down at the full swing numbers there, that's 112 club speed and 164 ball speed. Narrow-ish tee shot with lots of danger, but that's a good aggressive swing for this time of the day. As touched on, if you lower than that, certainly if you're below 150, if you're at 150 ball speed and had a history of playing golf, this golf ball, you're gonna enjoy all the characteristics of all the different layers. But as you get slower, 
that's when you've got to consider the tour response because you're just not going to get through all the layers of golf ball in order to get the benefits. Tour players have more, 20 mile an hour more speed than what we're delivering here. So they absolutely leverage every area. But remember, don't just focus on the driver. I'm going to see now as I grab this ball, the TP5X, can I lay one down there that will demonstrate to you how it has a hair more speed? Now, it's got to be a solid hit, but that was 164. We should be in a place here that if we let this fly, it's going to gain a little bit more yardage. And each mile an hour is probably like three to four paces. So it's something that's well worth having because those players that are looking at this area know that the more speed you have and the further you hit it, the shorter clubs you're going to hit into the green. So that was hit low out the blade, but you're going to see that the speed is actually 165.6. So even on a strike that wasn't as pure as the golf shot before, I've gained mile and a half on speed. That's where the X comes into its own, but you are giving up a little bit of a touch and a feel around the greens. So let's dive down to the green, demonstrate a bit of that spin as to where this level of player is going to need it. Then you make your choice on this premium golf ball. TP5 and TP5X golf ball, this area right now around the greens is where you're gonna come and make an early decision because remember, you're gonna dial it in at the tee. You're an elite player. You spend a lot of your time working on this. So how you connect with your golf ball around here is gonna be critical for your performance. So spend a bit of time. You're looking to sound, you're looking to feel. This is where that urethane cover is going to come into its own. Work on all your golf shots and really this is going to be where you're going to make a decision as to what you want to play. Just these little golf shots, these little chip shots. You can hear the five comes off softer, gives you that great bit of control and then the red number of the X is going to come off a little bit firmer, a little bit faster and runs out a little bit more for a shot like that. But have fun with it. Play your lob shots, play your bunker shots. Notice how it reacts. Great players, this really will be where you will know what I'm talking about and you'll connect with it. The tour boys are all spending hours here and this golf ball lives up to all of their expectations. The 2024 TP5 and TP5X. So as you come up to the dance floor, it's another good way to look at the putters, get the feel off it, hit the longer putts with the five, longer putts with the X, really notice the difference. Remember, much like the driver, you can dial in your insert and play a soft insert or a firm aluminum, aluminium for the UK folk, insert to get that ball speed off the putter that you like. The speed soft, this is really gonna give you a lot of feel off of here. You do have the ink and the larger speed soft branding that you can use to line up. As a training aid, I actually use the Tour Response. If I'm being honest, I feel like I could use this golf ball a lot of the time anyway, really with the T being where I don't get the benefits of the 5 and the 5X. And then a golf ball that I've been in recently, which we can't sleep on, is the Pix, used by Tommy Fleetwood. I put a line down this one, but you have the true Viz line on there. These Pixes on the, these little triangles, little hexagons, little squares on the golf ball are really in a spot where it's going to help you see the roll. So as you're practicing, this is a great golf ball to get into just to help you see the roll and recognize that it's moving in the direction that you want and the way you want as a player. So it's a great training aid that you can take to the golf, ball, golf course. It's totally legal. And you can just see that end over end movement from that golf ball. As a training tool, I've spent a lot of time with this golf ball. Um, I know Dustin Johnson is a big fan of this golf ball for training as well you can literally line up the stripe and you can get the tour response without the stripe too. And you could see there that roll wasn't perfectly true. If it had been struck true, it would have been end over end over end. As you get into this ball, the speed soft, this is where the feel's gonna be different and the sound is gonna be different. A great visual looking down really does feel quite different. It's a different click. Much like when you compare five to X, it's a different feel, it's a different click. The TP5 feels amazing. 
I mean, on this is a seven foot pop, so you don't quite get the full energy out of it. But if I'm hitting a longer one, you can really get a lot of feel out of that golf ball. It sounds softer. The feedback is excellent. But with that said, the type of player that adjusts to the TP5 X, you will adjust over time, just like you will around the greens. So again, it comes back to with those two premium golf balls. Do you need it off the tee? Did you leave your ego at the door? If you didn't, maybe tour response is where you're at. If you're price point conscious, speed soft is where you're at. If you're someone who's concerned about all the water at this golf course or the tricky tee shots or hitting it offline, you don't want to be banging the $60 golf balls into that direction. Speed soft again probably is for you. Elevation changes, remember that because spin is going to help you. If you don't have speed off the tee with the driver, the spin created by this ball will help you. If you're looking to progress your game and you're a mid handicap golfer moving into the better stages, I guarantee you with a urethane cover, this is going to be fantastic. And you don't have to have it with the stripe. You can get it literally plain if that is off-putting to you. And of course, the TP5 and the TP5X, premium golf balls used by the best players in the world. I can't speak high enough for them. The player out there, you know who you are. Test them. Just make your decision based on speed and feel as to where you're going to go. So there's your golf ball summary. I think it's pretty effective. I think it's pretty conclusive. We're going to be able to get you in a ball that's right for your game. I know they're a big purchase, but they're a piece of equipment that you cannot be without. Do not just go there, dive around in the lake and think that's going to work for you. Be sure to subscribe. No doubt we'll bring you some more stuff as we keep going down the line.